Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to bring you the vision video. What if I guess today is this week's city game synopsis. In this video, I'll be talking about the most important points from the city game. If you guys did miss the live stream and you want to see it, I will have a link in the description if you want to watch the entire thing. But if you are here for the recap, you are in the right spot. So if you guys do enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Alright, so the two main focus points of today's live stream was talking about the new specialization called the Firewall, and also they showcased the new exotic AR. Uh, they kind of showed how it looks a little bit more in depth, uh, also the talents, the attachments that it comes with. Unfortunately, they didn't say how you can get it. This is something they're keeping a kind of a secret or a surprise. So as of right now, we really don't know how to get this exotic AR. But the first thing I actually want to talk about is uh, episode 3 a little bit. So as you guys know, it is located on Coney Island. We are getting the cleaners back. Um, we did receive a episode 3 trailer yesterday. If you guys didn't see that, I will have also a link in the description to the official trailer. But the first thing they actually showed us was the two new missions. So what the names are, it's called the ballpark. This is what it looks like. And we also have the amusement park. And this is the other screenshot we received on the stream. Uh, it is only screenshots, we didn't see a preview, we didn't see any uh, kind of early gameplay or anything like that of the missions, which I'm kind of happy about. This was something that um, I didn't really like when they did on the PTS, kind of uh, release the missions. It, was, it wasn't really like a surprise, and once it officially dropped, everyone knew what the missions were and stuff like that. So I'm glad they only showed us screenshots and obviously gave us the name um, of the missions. But so far, first kind of glance at the missions, they look pretty, pretty good visually wise. Again, really, you, you can't really tell anything else from them, but uh, again, those are the, the names of the two new missions. Also, as I said, the new specialization is called the Firewall. I will talk about that a little bit more um, in a little bit. They also give us like a skill tree preview and also um, kind of some gameplay of, of how the flamethrower is going to work. That's something I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. But uh, the next thing they talked about was the new classified missions, uh, kind of the the locations so the first one we have is the detention center this is the image they provided us with and also the other classified mission is called the nightclub and this is the image we received again just images can't really tell anything else from it the next thing that was mentioned on the live stream was actually that there's more hunters returning in the future now i'm not really sure what this means if there's going to be hunters in pvp this is something everyone has been asking for so hopefully that's the case but we did get a confirmation from today's live stream that yes, more hunters will be in the future. Pretty exciting news. Uh, unfortunately, this is not coming in episode three, but later on, so I'm guessing like TU7 or a little bit later on down the line, uh, you can expect a little bit more hunters in the game. The next subject I wanna talk about is actually the new exotic AR. I wanna show you guys the talent and how the weapon is gonna look a little bit more in depth. So this is actually the image we did receive and here is the, the list of the talents on the right side. So the first thing is we have adaptive instincts. So what it does is hitting 30 headshots grants plus 20% critical hit chance and plus 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds. Also hitting 60 body shots grants 100% plus 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. And hitting 30 leg shots grants plus 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. That's pretty much the talent, and the holster talent we have is while holstered, gain plus 5% weapon handling. So, unfortunately the holster talent isn't really that good, but the overall talents on this weapon are pretty interesting, especially the one where it says hitting 60 body shots grants plus 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. Uh, that's pretty interesting, that could be very powerful, especially for, for PvP or, or just in general in the game. Uh, what's really good about this as well is uh, you can build the stacks at the entire like the same time whenever, whenever you're playing. So if you are building uh, the body shots, you can also switch and build the headshots and then either proc all of them at the same time or just proc one of them at a different time. So let's say you want 100% more uh, weapon damage. All you have to do is just hit the, the body 60 times and that buff will activate for 45 seconds. But if you want to take the time, let's say you're fighting... Um, you know, a, a final boss or something like that, and you can't kill him like right away, you can hit him 30, sh 30 times in the head for the extra critical hit chance, critical hit damage, 60 times in the body for the weapon damage, and 30 times in the leg 
and pretty much have all the buffs activated at the same time for 45 seconds. That overall is pretty good. I think this is going to be a very strong exotic that people will use. Obviously, I don't think it's going to be something crazy, crazy overpowered, but from the looks of it, it looks pretty strong, um, at least on paper. Who, who really knows how it's going to work in game, but on paper, it looks pretty good. And once again, that's pretty much the talents we are receiving with this weapon. Also, this weapon does come with 900 RPM, which is pretty high for a Osar Eiffel, and it has 50 bullets in its magazine, which can be beneficial to kind of unlocking those talents on the weapon and getting those damage buffs. Also, for the attachments that we're getting is, for the optic, we're getting plus 15% accuracy. For the magazine, we're getting plus 20% or plus 20 rounds. For the muzzle, we're getting plus 5% critical hit chance. And for the underbarrel, we're getting plus 10% critical hit chance. So overall, plus 15% critical hit chance, not too bad, especially if you are already stacking critical hit chance on your build. The last thing I do want to talk about before I let you guys take a look at the new flamethrower and the skill tree and how it works and stuff like that, I want to talk about the new weapon that is a regular gun coming to the game. It's going to be in the normal loot pool. It is called the Honey Badger. This is what it looks like. And if you guys did see my video yesterday, I actually saw this on... Uh, the little trailer, it was on screen for about 4-5 to five seconds, you could see it. It does come with an integrated suppressor. This is, once again, uh, what the weapon looks like, and this is, again, the kind of new weapon coming to the game. I don't think it's going to be anything special. It might be pretty good, it might be like the P416, but as of right now, we have no real idea of how it's going to really work, how it's going to function, or any kind of specific information on it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything for the steady game. The last thing I want to show you guys is the skill tree and also the gameplay of the flamethrower specialization. I'm going to show you guys a snippet from the live stream um, because they did a really good job of kind of clarifying each of the talents on the skill tree, what they do, how they're going to function, and just again, some gameplay that they showed us of the flamethrower. So once again, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. And here is the flamethrower in The Division 2. So obviously, right before we even begin, the kind of idea behind the firewall spec is it's all about getting up close and personal, right? So obviously, a flamethrower has limited range. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's uh, just under 15 meters or something like that, uh, which you know in in the Division Two actually feels quite quite close. Uh, so this is all about getting up and close and personal, but it also means, which you'll see with the skill mod that there's a lot of cool synergies yes. with some skills here. Mm -hmm. so, um, so with this uh, striker shield, um, it allows you to actually use your flamethrower and the shield at the same time, which means you can get up close and personal with enemies. Yeah. The other cool thing about that is, sorry, let me find it here. Um, so allies that are nearby you all deal extra damage if they're... Mm -hmm nearby, right? And so the idea behind this is it's kind of the fantasy of, you know, one guy with a shield coming in, everyone else kind of grouping around and yeah. following the guy with the shield. 10% mm -hmm. damage is nothing to scoff at. That's Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can but, be uh, it can be pretty powerful. Applied mm -hmm. to the whole team, so. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Um, and you also see here, so right like you need to get in close. So there's a cover to cover uh, bonus armor here. And that's allow, going to allow you, if you're far away, to yeah. kind of use cover-to-cover -cover movement, uh, movement to kind of get nearby. Cool. I just do see some people uh, pointing out in chat that the available points is at negative 222. Like we said, this is a dev build, so this isn't yes. how it's going to be in the yes. uh, no, no, no. final version that we, you, uh, you see. We basically cheated our way into having everything, and uh, it, our game doesn't display that super yeah. well uh, in the dev build. All right, what else you got in here? There's a sidearm as yeah. well? We do have a sidearm. Before I talk about okay. the sidearm, so... I want to talk about fire response. Mm -hmm. So, on armor break, you basically light everyone around you on fire. And, and it's, it's a small radius, right? And so the idea here is like... So when you're armor you breaks, You have like yeah. a slight protection okay. against like melee rushers and people like that who are kind of annoying when mm -hmm. you have like a shield and stuff like that. So if anyone kind of flanks you, comes from behind, whatever, yeah. um, and you kind of get in that dangerous moment, you're kind of protected from... Hold up, seconds. theory crafting. Yes. Dark zone people who are annoyed with shotguns. Yes. 
and those shotguns getting in close, is that going to affect those people, I would imagine? 100%. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, someone asking, uh, this is coming for the upcoming update, not for Loot 2.0. So this is coming yes. in episode three, yes, is which is coming three. in February. Yes. Yep. Um, for those that have the year one pass holders, the narrative content that we pointed out before, the uh, main missions and classifieds. Yeah. Can you, is, am I, correct me if I'm wrong, those are available one week earlier yes. than they are for people yes. who don't have the year That's one pass. Right. Great. <laughs> but both everyone, community-wide, will be able to play the stuff both of in the, February. Both of those dates are in February. So, hint, hint. work backwards from there. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, the sidearm called Firestarter. So, this one is cool because, one, it's a double barrel shotgun, yeah. which are always fun, but it actually applies a debuff that makes... Um, I don't know, do we actually have it, George, in their inventory? Or I can yeah. just talk about it, it doesn't matter. Let's take a look. Nice. This sidearm's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, because basically, we apply a 50% burn resistance for five seconds if we hit an enemy with this. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you can chain it together with your flamethrower. Yeah. Now, that includes uh, enemies that are completely immune to burn. So Ooh. you can take someone completely immune, immune to burn, too. hit them, take away their immunity, nice. put them at 50% resistance, mm -hmm. and then light them on fire. And that doesn't have to be just flames from your flamethrower. Oh, it could be, it could be a flame uh, turret. It could it be, uh, be right. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty powerful. Mm. Nice. I like that one. And also, that's a cool model. Yeah. It looks like a, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> no, just me? That's really cool. Exactly. Nice. Um, yeah, what else cool. do we need to see on the specialization tree? There was a grenade people were asking oh, about. Yes, that. yes. The, the last thing, uh, yeah. which is super cool. I guess I can uh, open it here. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but someone is asking if it's 50% like of their total, or is it a 50% decrease of the... Like if someone yeah. has... Has over 100. Yeah, if someone idea. has 80, do they go down 40 or do they go down to 30? No, they go down to... Uh, is it halved, or is it removing 50% from whatever they're That talking? is a great question. We will check that. That's why I said uh, you might not know, because I that's pretty... I actually uh, don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's a great question. Uh, I bet, uh, you know, obviously Frederick would know. Yeah. Uh, Adrian would know. Um, we'll find out. We'll yeah. find out. <laughs> um, so, the other super cool thing about this is a brand new grenade type, which is the cluster grenade. Yeah. So, throwing the cluster grenade, it kind of has a bunch of, you know, it's a cluster bomb, so a bunch of pieces kind of fall mm -hmm. out and they explode. It's super fun to use. Um, and maybe we can see that in action with George. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And last but not least, actually, is there anything? I mean, there's lots of cool stuff, like getting signature ammo. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. all about killing things within yeah. close range. You get more mm -hmm. sig ammo yeah. mm -hmm. for you and your buddies. Yeah, what's the weapon mod? Uh, so... It's a tactical short grip, and I think if we look at that one, it gives you crit, I think. We go take a look at that. I've seen that. Yeah. So basically, the, that shield mod gives you uh, and your allies a damage increase, and the buff strength is uh, increasing with the amount of enemies that are in, um, in that cone in front of you. Interesting. Very cool. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this plays out in a group as well with that 10% that damage buff to your, to your friends. Yes. So what I think is really cool, right, is like I think there can be some really cool synergies with group play here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially those players that like yeah. really uh, can figure out good ways to kind of stick together. Mm -hmm. Do you have the grenade equipped, George? Yeah, pop out a grenade. <laughs> George is like, let me play. George's uh, YouTube credibility is really intrinsically tied to his gameplay performance here. Pressure's on, dude. Woo! I love explosions. Once, uh, once these guys are all uh, toasted, I actually just want to see the grenade kind of close up. Maybe you could yeah. throw one out close to you so we can see exactly how that looks. Cool. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, do you have the, um, the chameleon in your inventory as well, George? Yeah. Uh, some people are asking if we can get a quick look at that, maybe once you find a, a safe spot. <laughs> George has just really kicked a hornet's nest here. We, oh. Yeah. oh, you're trying to burn the RC car. Good <laughs> nice. luck. We need a George cam. He's kind of he's kind of freaking out. I like that. No one asked uh. that. D Dark Skill. Uh, okay, I'll leave, I'll leave it up to chat. Do you want to see the chameleon in action? I'm pretty sure uh, some people were asking for that. Uh, how about this is a good question from Onsley. Uh, how about four guys running the specialization side by side? Does everyone get that same ten percent buff? Uh, like on top of the buff, but or can it only affect you once? I am not a hundred percent sure how it works. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to. I don't want to mislead with the yeah. with the wrong answer. It would mm -hmm. seem. That I, I totally understand the concern. It would seem a little op if you could run forty percent damage all the time. Yes. Sounds, on everything yeah. that you run. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 